Hi everybody and welcome back to Rude English. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to cook spaghetti carbonara, which is one of my favourite dishes. Spaghetti carbonara is an Italian dish, but the recipe contains lots of common verbs and phrases used in cooking. So if you love food and you want to improve your English vocabulary, then keep watching this video. So the first step, it says boil some water in a large saucepan. This is a saucepan. We use it to cook food with. To boil means to heat water until it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. I usually use a kettle because it's quicker. Chop the pancetta into small cubes. This is pancetta. It's basically Italian bacon. And to chop means to cut something into small pieces. Parmesan cheese. This is Parmesan, it's a type of Italian cheese. And this is a grater. We use it to grate things. To grate means to cut into very thin pieces. to hit repeatedly and in this case we're going to beat the eggs with a fork to mix the yellow and the white parts. season with black pepper. Seasoning is another word for herbs and spices and we can use it as a verb when we add, when we add salt or pepper to add extra flavour to a dish. Now it says mix the eggs and cheese. You're probably already familiar with this word, mix. It just means to, to combine two or more things. Now it says salt the water and add the spaghetti. So I'm sure you already know that this is salt, it's usually a noun, but in cooking we can use it as a verb uh, when we add salt to a dish. It 
says simmer for 10 minutes. To simmer means to cook gently. So we want to use less heat compared to when we boil something. Next it says peel the garlic cloves. So this is garlic and the individual pieces of garlic are called cloves and to peel something means to remove the outer layer of something. So I'm going to peel some garlic cloves. Next it says crush the garlic cloves. To crush means to apply pressure to something until it breaks. So in this case I'm going to crush the garlic cloves to extract the flavour from them. Now it says melt some butter in a frying pan. This is a frying pan. We use it to fry things and to melt means to apply heat to a solid until it turns into a liquid and in this case I'm going to melt some butter. Fry the pancetta and garlic for 5 minutes. To fry means to cook in oil or fat and in this case I'm going to fry the pancetta and the garlic. Turn off the heat and throw away the garlic. We don't need the garlic anymore so I can throw it away. Now it says drain the pasta and add to the frying pan. This is a colander and we use it to drain food. To drain means to remove excess water from something. So I'm going to drain the pasta now. says stir the eggs and cheese into the pasta. To stir means to move something in a circular direction in order to mix it. So in this case I want to stir the pasta and mix it with the sauce. cooked now, I'm just going to put it into a bowl. Now it says sprinkle with more parmesan. To sprinkle means to cover a surface with small pieces of something. So in this case I'm going to sprinkle the pasta with a bit more cheese. Finally, it says garnish with fresh parsley. 
The garnish is a small decorative piece of food, usually a herb or a salad. And in this case, I'm going to garnish the pasta with a bit of parsley because I think it looks nice. And there we go, spaghetti carbonara. A dish which is simple to make, tastes great and helps you practice your English. I've put the full recipe in the description below so that you can practice at home. Well that's the end of the lesson, thanks very much for watching. If you want more videos like this in the future, then please let me know in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any educational videos in the future. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.